Hello everyone, welcome back. I've been meaning to talk about this game uh, for the last couple of days. I had a, a tweet um, recently uh, that basically said I should check this game out. Um, I can't remember where it came from. I think it, uh, it was here from um, at game underscore KSA saying that you should check this game out because it looks really cool. Uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, almost like the Division, Destiny, Outriders. It's got that feel to it. So here's the official kind of landing page for the game. The game's called Synced. Uh, it says, welcome to Synced, team up in PvE, PvP matches, defeat swarms of nanos, and even sync with some more powerful nanos in order to weaponize them against your enemies. And this is one of the unique features, I guess, of this game where you can basically take down these like ultra uh, nanos. And once you do, uh, you can basically take over them and they can kind of become like a, a separate AI to you that can go ahead and, and, and fight for you in battle and whatnot. And it's, 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 it seems really, really cool. Um, at the moment... Um, these are just some of the uh, the characters. There's Dead Cut. There's um, which obviously you can see there's different skills and whatnot, and there's different characters in the game. There's a, there's a few other ones as well. Uh, from what I've been told, there's actually quite a lot, and of course there's different enemy types as well. As you can see, we have got this uh, this Crusher here. We've got Seer, and I think these are the what, the nanos that you can basically take over and use as kind of um, your companions. Was we got suppressor here, big nano with a big gun. Suppressors move fast and pack a lot of firepower. Perfect for crowd control and heavy damage. Um, and I felt I need to bring this to you guys because it has PVE, PVP, and um, if you like Outriders um, and if you like the Division, if you like Destiny, you like that sort of vibe, then this game seems to really have that. Now, here's a, a video um, from Popska. Uh, now, I've spoken to Pupska, he's given me permission to, to react to this video, and I just want to show you some of the gameplay for this video, guys, um, and talk about it a little bit, and obviously you can leave your comments down below, but let's just get into this one. Right, so here we go. Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today we're talking about Synced and going over if you should actually... So as you can see here, um, he's syncing with this Crusher, because he's just taking it down, and he's basically taking over the Crusher, they're going to become his companion uh, AI, basically. This game. If you didn't know, Synced is a new looter shooter coming to North America. I believe See what I mean? was originally. And I think you can kind of just uh, call it up in, and in it battles. And probably remind you of a lot of games like uh, Division, Outriders, all of the general newest looter shooters, Warframe, Destiny, what have you. And today we're going to, of course, see whether it's worth playing. I'll show you some loot. So I think this footage was taken from the open beta, which was open for about, I think it was maybe five or six weeks and ended about a week or so ago. So. Action from the beta. It is an open beta on Steam, so I believe anyone can join right now on PC. Really wish I want to go had, take you know, a look. So if this. this video does end up helping, or if you enjoy it, as always, like, subscribe. You see his companion, the eyes just jumped into battle. Media, such as Twitch, where I stream, I stream on YouTube, and all the other stuff. You know, it's all in the description. So thank you. Now, Synced is pretty much exactly what you expect out of it once you start watching like five minutes of gameplay but it has a handful of quirks around mm -hmm. it such as you kind of have control of a pokemon type character you yeah. can summon up your synced i can't quite remember what it's called but let's call it a companion and there are a handful of companions to unlock as well as a handful of main characters to unlock the main characters have their own skill sets and abilities, right? Like one ability, passives, things like that. And yeah, so um, this is very much a looter shooter game, um, although it's roguelite as well. Um, and from what I've seen about loot and stuff, there is a lot of depth for this game. There's a lot of build potential for this game. Um, and yeah, just like Destiny and Outriders and Division and stuff, um, it very much falls into um, those categories. Same with the companions. The general idea of the game is this. Play through the missions, kill everything. Each mission is kind of like a roguelike as you go through the mission and upgrade your loot. Mm. So it is a very, very odd game for sure. But mm. the entire structure of it is pretty simple. You just run through missions, kill the enemies, and you also have a little AI companion. It is up to three players multiplayer, and it is not single player. So you have to play multiplayer. Oh, okay. That's a big sticking point, actually. So, um, so... Pupska's just confirmed this is actually just a multiplayer game. There's no single player, which uh, for me personally is a big issue because I do uh, most games I play I like to play on my own. With that said, I played Outriders, 
and I never played that on my own um, because it was just impossible. So you had to match make in that and, and play through, and, and that was fine. Um, I would still like to see a single player difficulty, and that's a bit of a shame. There, and that is hopefully the best TLDR. I yeah. can give you of the game instantly. Go through rooms, upgrade your mods with the uh, points you get from killing the enemies, mm -hmm. upgrades your companion or yourself, go through the missions. Each mission you'll get some mods to upgrade your character afterwards, and that should be fun. It has a very weird upgrade power level system. It's essentially just you get item drop, mod drops, you equip them, and then you choose the one you want to use as your main one, as it has like mm. a little ability, right? Some have increased reload speed, other have increased damage or okay. increased crit after reloading, things like that. And you just upgrade them, increase the power level by deleting whatever max power level mod it has in consumption, and then you're good oh. to go. I okay, know it might so sound a little confusing, but uh, no, I mean that seems almost like um, what you have in. Destiny, where you kind of infuse stuff to get greater power. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly what you're trying to explain, but it sounds to me as though you, you get a mod that you like, but you have a more powerful one, so what you, what you do is you infuse the more powerful one with the one that you like, and then the one that you like becomes the more powerful one, or becomes the same power, whatever it might be. So that's actually really good, because uh, that means uh, for a lot of people who um, you know spend months and years trying to find that perfect or that highest roll mod it might just be that you you've already got this mod that you really want and all you need to do is just get something that's really powerful and, and infuse it in together it, it sounds like it's just easier um so yeah but that is what it is i'll have a better explanation of the game maybe one of these days if i think it's more worth yeah i think it, we probably need to as of right play now, a bit more to know exactly it does what seem is. like a fun chill game but nothing super serious okay the progression of it's not too slow or not too fast it's like okay. decent enough but it seemingly does rely on you getting a decent team and completing and always going forward. You seemingly Same as can't that, right? complete old missions to increase your power level, only increase like your kind of account level, battle pass level. So that battle kind of sucks, confirmed. but I don't mind it. All it is is you go into a mission, you play through the mission, it has multiple stages. Mm -hmm. Each uh, mission, I should say, area, what have you, will have different biomes. I think the first one was more outside, and it yeah. was more of an outside military base type biome. The second uh, mission is more Ooh, of a inside boy. base biome, where you go from room to room, fight the enemies in the room, and then go from there. You have the surge in the top right, which is essentially your mission timer. It just means you have to hurry up, go through everything, kill the nanos, which are the enemies. Oh, I see. Upgrade your mods, get buffs, get the surge difficulties, etc. Yeah. There's this weird thing you can do where where the enemy dies, and then you can sink your nano or like your companion to them. Yeah. This will heal them up, but also I think reset their cooldowns. Oh, cool. It's a weird system, and luckily it's all fully explained in game. That's good. There are multiple gun types and a ton of mods to upgrade. And when the full game releases, there will be I think there's around like seven eight characters as well as companions wow. on full release. But in the beta as of right now, there's only like three that's, characters to play. That's actually cool quite a lot seven or eight characters when you consider that each character is going to have its own kind of passive skills have its own way of playing the game that's actually a lot of variety and four companions to use so that's nice you have general tanks you have dps mm -hmm. ones you have support ones all through and through but this cool. is more of a general review going over and taking a look at the game seeing if it's actually worth playing for you or if it's not so hey let me know if you're at all interested or curious about this game. I did play it a little bit after all, but I... Just a comment about this, this what looks to be a kind of, some kind of boss battle. Um, the AI doesn't look particularly intuitive. It's certainly not what like what we got in the Division 2. I mean, I'm not expecting that kind of level of AI, but... Yeah. I didn't go too hard on it or anything like that. I just And again, played, I'm just I taking that from this video. So I've played, played through the first two uh, mission areas a lot and then mm -hmm. was like, okay, it's a decent, decent game. Okay. The enemies have weak points that you can hit, and a lot of mm -hmm. mods can increase uh, damage, increase crit, mm -hmm. give you buffs based on you hitting the enemy's weak points. Bosses seemingly are very strong, though, so okay. this is kind of annoying, until you do get 
a lot of a power level increase by repeatedly running and failing the latest mission. That's, that's seemingly, that's a bit though, the way you increase your power level in this game is running the latest mission. I'm failing. And if you have lower, weaker teammates, <laughs> you'll fail it a ton trying to get stronger. And if you have higher level, stronger teammates, you'll breeze through it and get your power level increased so much just in one go. So the power level and balancing in this game kind of sucks in that regard. Yeah, that doesn't seem... That I'm doesn't not a seem, huge fan of that. That doesn't seem right. Guns have ammo and increased damage based on the rarity. Tons of gun types like shotguns, SMGs, assault rifles, snipers. So they have like rare, epic, legendary, and common guns. So common doesn't yeah, have any sort standard of kind of increase. Rarity rare is a five percent damage increase. Epic is a ten percent, and legendary is a fifteen percent increase of okay. damage. And I think those are like additive, right? They each stack up, but overall, just it is a kind fun, of stuff. decent game. But I don't okay. think it's going to be the Warframe or Destiny Killer, right? I don't think it's going to be the yeah, top fair new enough. looter shooter out there, even if it is like an active developed type looter shooter. Yeah. It's a fun, interesting, cool game, but it doesn't seemingly have the like replayability and sayability a shame. that a lot of other games do have. You can't play it single player, which is actually kind of triggering as this is a seemingly a really fun game to play single player if you wanted to and matchmaking can right now suck because it's just in beta, it's in the beta. that's yeah. its own real separate tiny issue so it's not really a big problem on that you just have to wait until the game comes out until it's not in full open beta but it is what it is game overall is fun i am enjoying it you can swap between like a handful of companions you can have like two equipped at once oh, but cool. that's just not worth it because you uh upgrade mm. only really one companion and yourself at a time or else uh, oh, you might okay. just be spread too thin wasting resources yeah. things like that so overall this is the game this is synced the only last thing i can talk about is the main hub area okay it's okay. it's interesting oh let me tell you this it's essentially the same setup that destiny has you have your main hub load in area this is where you can mess around and put different attachments on your guns you can sure, change the skin i know there's pvp in this game i just wonder but if there's the any last PvP thing i this. actually do need to talk hmm. about is the fact that it has pvp oh, imagine it does that. have pvp Diamond. it's not as fun as the pve but hey at hmm. least it's there it's straight pv so you summon your companions yeah. and they attack enemies as well as you shoot down gun down enemies right. you have to kind of hold points sometimes for a defensive hold the area i don't know if the companions thing is a good idea for PvP. so has some variety to it it has more end game missions later on that you unlock too and uh end game raid type situations it seems right. so that'll be something maybe to look forward to if the game mm. does fully release and you do yeah. want to try it out mm -hmm. i want to play it more maybe on stream but it's hard to say for sure so maybe i'll check it out it's a warframe like destiny like looter shooter so i'll play it a handful here and there on stream if uh y'all want to and yeah thank you all for watching i do appreciate it well there we go guys i mean it looks it looks decent i mean it looks like it's got some potential i mean i'm not a huge fan of the ai in this in particular um they don't that they don't excite me in any way shape or form um which is a bit underwhelming when you consider that the majority of this will probably be spent playing pve uh, i have seen some footage from pvp it looks okay um i don't like the companion stuff i'm not sure the companion stuff will work in, in pvp the only uh, kind of bad stuff that i've seen mainly aside from obviously some design choices that have been spoken about in this game is um movement um is apparently quite clunky um, and that's really the main issue that I've that I've seen when I've been looking into this game. But overall, I mean, this is definitely a game that I'm interested in, especially now that the day before appears to be completely fake. Uh, you've probably seen all the videos and stuff about it. That game is is a complete shambles. I was going to make a video on that game, but I don't know. It's just so much of a shambles. I don't want to waste my time really. Uh, giving it the uh, giving it the what's the word? Uh, given it any more than it's already been been given by by hopefuls um so yeah i mean this is definitely one that's kind of on my radar now um and, and certainly one that i'm if it goes into open beta again then i'll definitely be checking out the other thing as well guys that i just want to mention is this is pc only at this stage um from what i've seen that they are possibly looking into getting this onto console after release which again is a bit of a shame for me because I'm a console player really I don't really play anything on PC and if that is the case then I probably won't end up playing it um, but it's definitely one I'm going to pay attention to and and if you're someone that plays on PC a lot and you're into looter shooters and stuff this may be one that you want to put on your list 
um, for the future. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Until the next one, epic out.